Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Hydrocraft. Yes, it looks like a new person. That's because it is. Uh, as you can see, I've been trying my best to at least get this character out of the initial phase of where you'll probably end up dying very quickly. And in the meantime, I, I can't even remember where I went to, but I've kind of found this area. Now, the reason I have done this is because I did a series called Hydrocraft. And I spent more time trying to get my character sorted than actually doing any hydrocraft. So I've I found an area that may be useful, and I've been doing some obviously, as you can see, some some killing and 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 stuff like this. So um, what I plan to do here's here's the area that I'm in uh, near Muldra Raid and his camp zone Dixie. So. I've got this nice little small area that I'm in. Oh, I'm tired, so I'll probably go have a quick nap at 12.30. But the other thing is is that I took the time. It gave me the opportunity to go through the mods and find out if there was uh, an issue with one of the mods. And I found there was. So I've removed that mod, as we can now do some um, foraging. So that is that is a boom. That that's at least a bonus. So I'll I'll, I'll show you around town. Um, it's not very big, so that means that it's going to be quite easy to um, secure without having to use the usual tactic of finding a loud vehicle to detract everything and uh, turn it off. As you may notice, there's my my last character. There's nowhere around there. I've I've. I made it quite conscious that I wasn't going to end up benefiting from the last character's uh, stuff that they've done. So uh, that wasn't that was definitely not on the cards. So I've I've moved to a different place, and I actually don't regret it because this may seem like something that I can actually do some hydrocrafting without having to worry too much about what's going on around me. And if I'm honest, I really didn't particularly like the area that I was in with the last character. It was it was. I was I was very much intending to find somewhere else to to stay anyway, uh, and I feel with that little mansiony type area that I've I may have found the place to be. Now this area here is has been fairly infested. I started in this house here. I actually started in the back room of this house. Uh, so th this is this is apparently my home. So I decided sod it. I'm going to take the mansion. Right, now, we need to start clearing out some zombies. So it's going to be a bit more of an exciting episode today. As I clear out zombies, find bits and pieces that we need to... Uh... That's it, you come round one at a time. This one's being awkward. Thank you. Any more? Yep. Right, let's take that energy bar. Adult magazines are always good for depressional issues. I've got a water bottle. There's another machete there. I'll take that. I picked up an Alice pack, by the way. So that was good. Took me a while, but I found a school bag first. So what I aim to do is pretty much try to clear this place out with zombies. We still got the same thing where. Our zombies are. Hold on. We sort her out. I'm not coming back once they died. Oh. 
Uy, en poca. We've also got this school up here. Right, let me switch that off. Right, so it looks like now, obviously, because my character's died. I need to do all the books and stuff again. Any more for any more? I'm going to make sure the area is clear first. And as I've said many a time before, I tend to clear an area out first before I do anything. Right, so that's the school here. Okay, so maybe I've now dragged... Not sure what's going on here. have two so I'm gonna get that sneaking and the accuracy up which is nice now I know around here that there is actually like a, a world map for the AIZ mod good old pickles let's just eat some of those Now, for some strange reason, I don't have a key ring. It just seems to be one of those things, I'm afraid. Mm 
This might be the church or the church area. One of the nice things is this. There's a couple of walls around here. And there also was like a. What's the word? A uh, retreat. Losing control. Yep. Yeah, that ain't good, Sas. You gotta make sure that you're in control. What do you mean? The veter read the veterinary medicine book. The science textbook. That's unread. I'll read that. It's actually the first I've been up with. Oh, look, hopefully, if we're lucky, we may find a vehicle of some sort. And we do. But the question is, is what condition is that vehicle in? And will we find a key? No, of course not. Well, let's check the car condition anyway. Not with the battery's fine. No gas. But we do have a gas station down below, so that's not a terrible thing. Looks like there's a car crash up here. That's going to make things a little bit difficult, if I'm honest. Here. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. Let me throw that cardboard packaging out for one thing. I'll leave my MRE crackers. I found a box of uh, MREs, which is always good because it helps with your cooking skill. As you may have noticed, I'm pretty damn good with my first day because I've been scratched quite a few times. More times than. Oh. Damn you, zombie, coming out of the woods on me like that. Ooh.
Ah, looks like somebody may have blocked this up. This might have some good stuff in here. The question is, how do we get in? If we have whiskey, there we go. I now have the ability to burn a few things. Let's see if I can get my running up or oh, sprinting. Now, I'm probably not going to get rid of all of the zombies around here. But if I can get rid of most of them so that they're not really causing me too much of a hassle, I should be able to start looking at getting myself out there. That is a big group. I'm not risking it. The problem with Project Zomboid is the moment you, you... Sometimes you have to take risks, but the moment you do take risks is the moment you put your character's life in their hands. Really. It's... it's just one of those things where... You need to be sensible about what you're doing. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the houses. I'm going to switch off for a second uh, and go back to the houses and do the research that I need to do. And we'll see. Kill off any zombies on the, on the way through. But we'll, uh, we'll see where we go with that one. Okay, so as you can see, now got some carpentry uh, and a few other bits, foraging and fishing, trapping and farming, I haven't quite found just yet. Um, however, what I am going to do is I need to get myself a vehicle or working vehicle. Now, I have done a few things around here and I do know there is a place that does look after vehicles. Uh, when I say look after vehicles, but it's got changeable items in the vehicles, but I, what I will need to do is pop over to here where I put this. I'm going to grab my welding mask, my propane torch uh, and my wrench because I need to start practicing skills. 
Now, once again, this isn't exactly something that I don't know if people really are interested in watching me do that, grind out some skills. Uh, but what I will do first is I will go and have a look at this farming area over here and see if there's anything worth taking. There's also down here that needs looking at as well. Well, I've got XP, 8 XP to all my next skill point, and it looks like maintenance on my blade might be the uh, the next big thing. We'll get to this farmhouse and see what's down here. So yeah, when it comes to projects on board, sometimes it's just a question of of patience. Sometimes it's a question of luck. Sometimes it's more than luck. I mean, the general thing is 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 that it, it is a difficult, difficult task to do surviving a zombie holocaust. Um, and sometimes, oh, this looks like this has been oh, right. Looks like they've been properly jammed in here, haven't they? Oof. Oh, bugger. Every goddamn time, Sass. Wasn't what I intended to do. But then... Try again, shall we, Saz? Grab your machete. Well, at least I suppose I'm getting more done on my first aid here. I am literally one damagey bit away. Uh, remove broken glass. Press Q this time. Okay. 
please don't let that be a bite. I got stuck. No, it's a scratch. That's okay. That's okay. It's a scratch. I have a chance of living. I have a chance of living, folks. That was silly, Saz. That was so silly. Did not know how many were in there. Disinfect it. Rip sheet it. Keep cropping out from the woodwork, these guys, don't they? All right, let's see if this shed has got anything interesting in it. It has. Oh, yeah, generator. So that's going to be quite useful. A couple of planks. Bungee cord sword, right? Trowel, so we've got a trowel already. We'll grab the nails. We'll also grab the fishing tackle. And some more nails there, wasn't there? Disinfect it. Bandage it. How is my uh... well? It looks like I've actually, <laughs> I've actually got a first aid thing because of because of my stupidity. Um. So let's. Okay, so you get point five for each uh, thing you're in barricade. How much do you get for barricading? You actually get more for barricading than unbarricading. Uh, I need food. Let's just eat some chips. I also need some painkillers.
I do want to start thinking about barricading my uh, my house, my home from home. Machetes. All done. Right, so now we've had a look over there. I'm going to do all the boring stuff and start building up my uh, abilities. So once I've done that, I'll be back. Okay, now here's something interesting. Find a car. Now, fortunately, we still haven't had the electricity run out. We can get this over to the petrol station. ASAP. Okay, so we, we, we appear to have ourselves a vehicle. Okay, so we've got full gas. So it does need a little bit of a, a little bit of work, but. By the way, just just so people know, because I, I I have known that there's a couple of people don't know. If you are in the car seat, if you press Z, you'll bring up the car seat. Um, the car seat thing straight away, rather than having to go for the dial by pressing V. It makes it a little bit easier for you. Right now, I did go. F Ooh, I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to head back and I'm going to carry on doing what I was going to do before I found a car. So, see you later. Right, folks. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got uh, our abilities up. Uh, Barry here is, has managed to get his carpet tripped at least level 4. First aid, uh, electrical and mechanics, which means you're only a little sort of way from being able to hotwire cars. Uh, interestingly enough, we've, we're still waiting on sprinting, but we've got our sneaking, accuracy and blade maintenance... But as you may have also noticed, I've been chopping trees down and making some borders and barriers. Which means, uh... Oh, excuse me. Uh, which means that uh, we'll hopefully build the border and the defences out on there. I do have the trapping book, but everything else has managed to be done at level 1, apart from Coventry, which 
Carpentry, Carpentry, <laughs> Coventry, listen to me, uh, which I need a new book for. Obviously, uh, the building of the walls is going to be a little bit large difficulty than uh, I would normally go for. Also, the other important thing is, is the electricity has now come off. So, and the water, but the nice thing is, is this place has a well, which I found here. Hello. Let me sort her out. And this is the major reason why I need to uh, increase the size of the fencing here. As well as over here as well. Even though I will take all that metal railing down at some point. And I have actually started a little up the top there. But the truth of the matter is, that is going to be us. So if you uh, like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. Please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. Also, if you really like it, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And if you really, really like it, you might as well add the uh, bell icon on there as well. Also, uh, just want to say thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.